Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video, we're taking a look at the latest offering from Not Wei Zhang. <laughs> this is WJ Toys, I believe, uh, or whatever they are calling themselves at this present time. This is God of War Autobot Apex, aka the oversized, slightly redone version of the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. If we look at the back of the box, we've got God of War Autobot Apex at the back there in some kind of dynamic poses. Got him in his bot mode and his vehicle mode, and he's got a nice little picture of him there. Uh, really does remind me of Energon Optimus Prime, looking at that picture. Fatimus Prime, oh, a Prime I can relate to. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. Now he does come with a couple of different accessories. He comes with batteries. We can install in the back of the head, there's just a slot in the back. And when we do install them, we can then turn on those piercing blue eyes. And it also comes with two variations of the hands. Uh, we have some static hands and we have some articulated hands. The articulated hands are a little bit they're lackluster. Very much the same as what we get with the MPP-10 as standard, minus the upgrades. Uh, you just want to unscrew this and then you want to slide the hands apart, although the pin does have to move as well and as standard this is what uh, we get uh, as standard it's very much kind of an oversized version of his studio series hands but uh, he's not bad he's not perfect the head still isn't quite right but the paint applications on him are nice he's an absolutely massive figure uh, he has a really quite nice profile uh, a bit of a wide back like i said does remind me a little bit of energon Optimus Prime, but we like the smokestacks they've given us now. Uh, I like this kind of silver and chrome. It's it's not bad, it's not bad at all. It's just, it doesn't wow me as much as I'd like. You can tell it's kind of based on the studio series. It is still not as kind of well-engineered as I would like for like a masterpiece figure, for example. But there's definitely enough there to whet a lot of people's appetites and to keep a lot of fans happy. Here he is with a swarm of bumblebees. Uh, we've got the Black Mamba oversized one there. We've got the official, uh, well, that's the legendary toys. And um, we've got the kind of official scale one there. And then we've got the 3A bumblebee, who I have my, my chest piece poked off. I need to get a new ball joint for that chest piece. But I think he's probably the closest to scaling wise. I honestly cannot wait for the 3A bumblebee prime. Yes, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, yes, it doesn't transform, but my goodness me, that is going to be a work of art. It's going to look sensational. Uh, this is a good standing figure. I'd say 80 to 90% of people would probably be more than happy with this piece in their collection. But uh, I love what 3A did with Bumblebee, and I honestly cannot wait for Prime. Uh, it's going to be well worth saving up for, in my opinion. Uh, there's a fair bit of range. On here, we have the uh, up and down motion, left and right, bit of rotation, bit of tilt in there. We have some friction outwards, ratchets upwards. We have bends and rotations on these arms. Lots of nice range in there. Rotations on the wrist, rotations on the waist. Hip skirts out to the side, legs forwards, backwards, out to the side. A bit of thigh rotation in there on a ratchet, which is always nice. Uh, we have friction joints on the knee, but it's still an ample bend. And we have some up and down on these feet, as well as some pivoting side to side. So he's a very kind of robust, poseable figure, but I still would like more on that head, ideally, just because uh, Bumblebee is substantially smaller. This is a big guy, he's 32 centimeters in height. Uh, so I really would like the ability to kind of look down a little bit more. Yes, we can bring these legs up, and we can kind of pose him in a kneeling pose, for example. But uh, I don't know, I really like a bot that can look down and kind of interact with the rest of the collection. I mean, that's not perfect, uh, but at the same time, that's not terrible, is it? And for those of you that own the original Studio Series version and want to know a quick scale comparison, <laughs> he's a little bit bigger. And here he is alongside the likes of the Black Apple. Optimus Prime, we have the Weizhang Limited release of the MPP-10, and then of course we have the Honey Badger Megatron and the Black Mamba Megatron. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I think he 
kind of looks the part uh, size wise but I just can't help but feel the kind of simplified studio series look is very kind of prominent when you compare them to the likes of the Black Apple and Honey Badger Primes and Megatrons. Now it's gorgeous as this bot mode looks, so let's get him transformed up into his vehicle mode. Uh, you want to untab these chest sections like so. You can just about see the matrix of leadership hiding in there as well. You want to untab the head and that's going to come down like so. Come around to the back. This untabs from here. Arms are going to come up, move these wheels to the back like so. This allows this panel here to rock like so, clearing it of all of this front mess. Uh, really guys, kind of tidy all of that section up. This is then going to come up to the front. Uh, first port of action is to bring these windows in to the front there and bring these panel pieces down. Again on this side and bring that down and bring these panel pieces in and they are just gonna push and tab in together. This is all die cast as well. Lots and lots of die cast sitting around in the top there. Prime's head is gonna come and fill in this void at the back here. This piece here gonna flip up and over into position and then Prime's head is going to fill in this void and this is going to push and lock into place. That sits in there really nice and tidily. The arms, uh, they're pretty straightforward and you want to bend these around like so. This top piece is going to flip down. These arms close off the fists. These are going to rotate around. And where we have this panel here, that's going to open up. And it gives you an idea of how these arms are going to go. I'm going to rotate them around. And they're just going to sit in this void piece here. And then uh, once I get everything lined up, we'll start tabbing pieces in. But uh, we've got this piece here. This is going to open up with the wheels. That'll come up and again, just push and tab in. And then on this top panel, this is gonna straighten up and straighten up again. Easiest way to do this is to push that down now and then push and lock that into position. Do that with both sides. You can then rock this hinge back. And as you can see, this is gonna form the front push and lock that firmly in to position. It's starting to come together. Uh, you want to bring these tabs down. Uh, these petrol tanks are going to slide up on either side. Really nice use of the chrome there. This untabs, comes up, pushes and locks leg into position again on this side this comes up pushes straightens up and locks that into position these open this comes down this comes up this comes down and this comes up these are going to come all the way down push the heel spur like so which in turn allows the foot to rotate. This then comes up and that's gonna push and tab in on this side. So again, on this side, just push that heel spur down, rotate the leg. And as we bring this one up, this one actually has this additional section. So it's gonna come up, that's gonna push and tab in. And now this piece here and this piece here will hook up. And the fifth wheel or 
trailer hitch, depending on where you live. That's gonna slide in like so. These come up like so. This comes up, this comes up. And we're gonna bend this hinge. And you can see there, there's a tab just in the back of the truck. join those together, the smokestacks just sitting neatly and tidily in the back like so. And that is prime just transformed up to push, make sure everything is in firmly. And here we have him in his vehicle mode. Uh, that's actually the MPP10 trailer, the oversized Weijang trailer, and then it fits Gloriously on him. I actually really like how this vehicle mode has turned out. Uh, it's held together really nicely. It's a big brick. Uh, reminds me very much of their M01 Commander figure that Wei Zhang did back in the day. And uh, that on top there is the KO of the regular size Studio Prime. Uh, so you get an idea of just how big this is. And this is, of course, MP10. So it's a big, towering piece. And just to give you an idea, let's bring in the Black Mamba Prime, who of course to date is our biggest version of the Revenge of the Fallen or the 2007 kind of variation of Prime. Uh, so, I mean, these do look exceptionally good together. Um, possibly the new Age Hank one is maybe too big. Uh, not entirely sure. I mean, 32 centimeters, roughly for bot mode, uh, it's pretty spot on. And come on, vehicle mode does scrub up rather nicely. And here we have a look at the vehicle. Yeah, kind of minus his trailer. Yes, it's a little bit kind of rushed at the back there. I think there's still a big hollow section. But as far as uh, trucks go, that isn't half bad, is it? It tidies up nicely. It's really solid lump of a piece and you know for the money i don't think you're going far wrong yes uh, freedom leader if we get him uh, is going to be better i think uh, bot mode if you can afford it and you're happy for the kind of that statue look then 3a is still going to be the the closest to the cg version to get but on a budget this is a remarkable little piece uh, very slight adjustments have made the world of difference yes. alongside the original version a couple of small differences there isn't there <laughs> uh, it's just that size and the chrome uh, it does make all of the difference and uh, the big chunky tires as well it's a good value piece so there we have it if you're looking for a budget version of the bumblebee movie prime uh, this is not bad not bad at all uh, like I said, it's uh, kind of very in keeping with the oversized power of the Primes, kind of uh, Power Master Prime that we got. Uh, it's very, very similar, you know, with the Orion packs. It's got that same sort of feel to it, uh, but it's not a bad piece at all. I'll put a link in the description below where this can be purchased. Uh, it's just a cracking piece and it's great value for money, so uh, you can't go wrong. Until next time, for myself and Rise of the God of War, Autobot Apex. Ah, goodbye.